Hi, I'm Allison Hagendorf. Welcome to Bottle Rock Backstage with Butter. I am here now with the living legend, Mr. Nile Rogers. What a pleasure it is to be sitting here with you. How are you? Look at this gorgeous outfit. I mean, you are on point. You are. You're on point. Well, of course, we have the whole Chanel situation. Congratulations oh, on that. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's great. How does that feel to, you know, to be a face of a, of a campaign? It's pretty extraordinary. Um, Every morning I wake up and I get texts from all around the world, from major cities, people going, I was just walking to work and I looked up and I saw you were like 50 <laughs> feet high. And I was like going, uh, yeah, well, I wonder what that means in dollars. <laughs> Maybe we, could work, find out. maybe we could work that out. I know, right? I saw on your recent Instagram post, you said you're getting, you know, in shape for, for concert season. Yeah. How do you stay in shape? What do you need to do for the um, caliber of touring that you do? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. insane. Pretty much just working on the music. Um, my workout is more mental than physical. I bet. But I do walk uh, about... Uh, Five to eight miles every morning. You do? Five oh, yeah, to yeah. eight miles? Five to eight miles, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was walking eight miles a day and roller skating 10 until I realized I had a torn meniscus. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's so just, painful. I was just treated for it yesterday. Wow. Walking is also like a, a meditation. Not only is it a great physical exercise, but it's like a moving meditation. Do you listen to One music? One could say that. Yeah. I, I'm, um, you know, for me, it, it seems like it's um, my inspiration. It's sort of like the turbocharger in my engine because my brain does not stop working. So while I'm walking, I'm thinking of, okay, writing a new song, uh, whatever song I'm working on, maybe the middle eight could be better. Or, you know, I just, I, I can't turn it off. I, I wish I could. So does that mean, are you an insomniac? Do you sleep? Uh, there it is, girl. <laughs> Give her the $50,000 yes, prize. Because I yeah. am too. I know that yeah. feeling. It's kind of, I mean, I guess it's a blessing because it's, it's an testament to your creativity and that create, but it's also a curse because you need to sleep. You are human. Even yeah. though you're pretty bionic, you are still human. I, I'm still trying to figure out whether it's more of a blessing or more of a curse. Right. I, I, I think, in my case, it's more of a blessing. Yes. Um, I got a new job yesterday, which is insane. And uh, and I told him, I said, oh, don't worry. In a week, I'll have it written. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what can you share anything about the new about the new job that what you're working well, on? I'll just it's a television show that's probably going to be really big. And when I looked at um, the episode that they wanted me to write the finale, I said, oh, that I got it. I, I got this. They showed me uh, that the entire episode, and I said I could forensically imagine what the rest of it is like, just because uh, because of the setting, because of the language, because of the heavy sexuality. Um, <laughs> so I knew that they wanted a song. They wanted a song that was incredibly triumphant and and powerful. How does it feel to be recruited and requested by people of all types, of projects of all types around the world? They want your magic. How does that feel? And how do you sort of navigate what you choose to do? Typically, it's because I love the people. Mm -hmm. Almost every record I've ever done in my life, it's because I happened upon a person. We just bumped into each other, and we realized we like each other. Aww. And we go, damn, why don't we make a record together? Honestly, it's happened about six times this week. Really? Absolutely. Six times this week. That's unbelievable. But you have a certain you know, magnetic quality to you, so I feel like I, I, I understand how it happens so often. But that's how a lot of the magic happened. You know, it's so crazy. Random Access Memories, Daft Punk album. Yeah. is 10 years. Isn't I know. that wild and to think about? And it's number one again. It's number one Can again. Can you believe that? I mean, how it's How much money am I going to make this week? This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. It's so awesome. Between that and the billboards, I feel like you're in a good place. How cool is that to think 10 years has passed? The song is as relevant as ever. You know, it's I, like... It's funny. I was just... You wouldn't believe this. So what day is today? Saturday. Okay, Saturday. So last Saturday, I was 
in Paris doing Daft Punk, doing the video to celebrate. Um, then the very next day, I wound up doing a concert with Burna Boy. The day before that, I was with the King of England. It no was ridiculous. Deal. It was just one day after the next. Um, then went to L.A. Uh, I can't even remember what I was working on. Oh, uh, Apple Music in L.A. R wrote a song. Um, then came up here last night, and now we're ready to go. I love that you are touring with Duran Duran this summer. It's yeah. so full circle, so it's, symbolic and meaningful. And you were just mentioning that you like to work with people who you have that energy with. You have said that with you and the guys and Duran Duran, you just connected when you, yeah, when you first I, came together. I call them my other band. My uh, they're all my, they're my other chic. And they and you've been called the sixth member of the band yeah. as well. So I think that brotherly love is so beautiful and unique with you guys. It's funny. Three or four weeks ago, we just wrote a couple of new songs, and then we did a great cover of another really wonderful disco song. It's nonstop music in my life and with wonderful people that I just I mean I really adore honestly I adore them so for you it's really about the human connection and the music collaboration is an extension of that absolutely. that human connection absolutely um, I uh, someone asked me the other day uh, who is the worst person you ever worked with uh, what's the biggest ego I looked at him and went you don't understand like that's cool to me i love an artist if they have what one would call a huge ego my job is to make the project better Aww. if i can't do that you don't need me i'm not right. that's why i play on every record that i produce even if you have two guitar players in the band i need to make a musical statement and even if a person is what one would call traditionally difficult, I love them. I think that's great. It makes me feel that they believe in their idea. And if they believe in their idea, I got to go, now my job is to kick their ass and make it better. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So, uh, I, mean, I love that. So who is someone you would love to collaborate with that you haven't yet worked with? Oh, I, I can't mention because I think... I will. This is turning into a really incredible year or maybe the next two or three years if I can hang on that long. You know, it's funny. It sounds corny because people say living my best life. I really am. I honestly wow. am. It, it couldn't be better than it is right now. Oh, my God. You are such an inspiration on so many levels. I, I'm just sitting here just taking mental notes and just really being very grateful to hearing you speak about this because you're in, the way you live your life is an inspiration. Not just the music you've done, but the way you live your life, the way you approach relationships and just humans <laughs> is really beautiful. Uh, so it's very grateful for you. Oh, thank you. And I wish thank you all you. the best because you are so important to so many of us and to music in general. So thank you, Niall. Thank you. I can't wait to see what you do next. <laughs> thank Me you. Me too. <laughs>